All right, guys, Pew Pew Review here. Figure I'd show you guys my first ever groupings with this rifle. So up here, right there, that was my first zero shot with new scope on. Didn't, didn't know where it was going. So I re-zeroed it, brought it back down to here. That's my first three shot group. As you can tell, it's about half MOA. Here's the four shot group. As you can tell, about uh, you know half MOA or better. Pretty fantastic. Got a little bit of side to side side wind here, so that could be explaining some of the left to right here. And then here I did some load ladder testing. I don't know what this means, so if anyone in the comments, I've never done this sort of ladder testing before. Um, I watched the video on YouTube and the guy seemed to swear by it, so who knows, could be right. But uh, it looks to me, if I were to guess, somewhere in between 38.5 and 39 is pretty promising. Uh, not just because of bullet placement on the target, I don't care about that, but just the distance between the two is pretty close. 37 was low, but then 37 and a half jumped up about half an inch, and then 38 jumped up even higher, and then 39 it came back down. So obviously barrel whip and harmonics, it's something to do with that. Uh, maybe I, I, to me, it either means I need to keep testing and tighten up my groups, do you know 0.3 grains up and down. I think that would probably make a difference because I think maybe the 0.5 with this barrel is too much. But we're, I'm learning as we go here. If it means I got to shoot more bullets, well then so be it. Because man, this thing is a pleasure to shoot. All right, my first 16 rounds out of this rifle. I got to do some more load development for it for sure. Um, yeah, wow. I, I can't say enough about this gun. Super, super impressed with it. I don't know if you can tell during the shooting, but it's super smooth. Like, beyond smooth, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, one thing I didn't like about it is uh, the cheek rest isn't removable because a detent stops it at the top. So I bore sight my rifles looking down the barrel and then looking through the scope, just because that's what I do. And I, uh, I I had difficulty doing that with this gun. So it took uh, one extra shot rather than two shots for dial and took three. But again, nothing I can really complain about. Um, other than that, yeah, shot incredibly well. Mirage off the barrel was minor. I didn't even let it get too hot. Um, it uh, Bipod was nice and sturdy. Uh, the height is different than my old gun. So I think I'm definitely gonna have to repack my bag for this gun. But other than that, yeah, super happy with it. I can't complain. It's definitely uh, definitely a winner. If you're in the market, I know there's lots of options out there and MDT and all these guys, but uh, frankly, this action, this trigger, it's fantastic. I'll see if I can get some, get some here to film me and we can do some closer up shots, but yeah, would definitely recommend.